Speed. Sound production, take one. Action! Welcome to the Enter the Fangirls podcast. I'm Sam. I'm Lexi, and we're two girls with a slight obsession of everything pop culture. Last week, we did March Madness, and we said that we were going to split it up into two because they were going to be very long. So here's part two, and it's going to be long. Like, yeah. I think it's going to be long, I think. I'll do my best to trim it so you guys aren't sitting here for, like, three hours yeah, which we're really probably here. going to be but yeah but there's there's a lot of good matchups so there is I'm excited I know I don't know who's gonna win I honestly don't know either and it's kind of like I know I thought I'd have some sort of idea but I just really don't <laughs> but it's gonna be it's gonna be fun yeah it's gonna be tough we're gonna have to make some tough choices that I don't want to make already yeah no not so right now we're at our 32 and yeah we'll be down to the one winner <laughs> but yeah if you don't know episode. what we're kind of like counting down to i think we kind of just said it was like the ultimate ultimate smackdown <laughs> yeah it's like ufc but no what did i call it i called it like the efucc enter the fangirls ultimate champion I love Something that. Something like that, whatever the abbreviation of that would be. I love that. Yeah, no, that's basically what it is, though. Yeah. So, I'm interested to see who is going to be the E T F U C. E T F U F C. Enter the Fangirl Ultimate Fighting Champion. Yes. There we go. All right. Let's just get right into it. Let's get into it. Okay. Our first matchup is Robin Scherbatsky against Grandma Annie from the proposal. I have a feeling I have a feeling Robin's gonna beat the shit out of Grandma Annie. Because <laughs> I I have this like one episode in mind. I can't think of what it is, but I'm pretty sure Robin gets into a fight with an older woman and she you know, has, like, it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> she has zero gel. <laughs> No, maybe she'll be the one to beat Eleven. Because I think she would smack down a child. She a thousand percent would. Oh, I don't want to say goodbye to Grandma Annie, but no. I don't think she's winning that. No, she's just going to go, like, celebrate her 91st birthday. Yeah, I love that. Love her. So we got Robin winning that one? I think Robin has to win that one. Okay, okay. Okay, our next fight is Samantha Jones and Lena Mathers. See, I have been thinking about this one all week because I don't want to get rid of either of them and I have no idea who's going to win. On one <sighs> hand, I feel like it would like logically make sense that it's Lena. Yeah. But I think Samantha could kick ass. Samantha could kick ass? And they're both, I think Samantha might have a height like over yeah. her, but I think yeah. like body size, weight, they're probably in the same class. So I feel like it'd be a kind of fair fight. Yeah, I'm just trying to think if, like, Lena and can get inside her head. I know. I feel like Sam wouldn't let her. <sighs> I, I think Sam before. would, like, call her out and be like, no, you're batshit crazy. I can see it going either way. Yeah. Then again, Samantha was a lesbian for, like, five episodes and yeah. it's matronamic yeah no she would definitely fall for her because yeah. like who wouldn't <laughs> i mean pretty sure she's good in bed if the movie is any indication very true both of them <laughs> exactly so they'd make a very good pair so maybe Lena could get in her head that is true but i think sam is also hard to like fall. she's hard whoa Opening up her heart is hard for her. I think so. So I don't think that Lena could get in her head that much. Because I feel like Samantha would lose interest very easily. Because, yeah, that's the thing. Lena's not physical at all. She doesn't... Yeah. I don't think she hits Ray once, really. Like, she just frames him, gets him put in a mental institution, and that's her way of ruining his life. True. Whereas I don't think Samantha would have any reservations here. Being towards Sam... Just because, like you said, Lena is very psychological and, like, mm-hmm. manipulative. But, like, she wouldn't hurt anyone. I mean, she hurt herself. <laughs> She's dedicated. She is. 
But Samantha, I think, would throw hands on anyone. Yeah. So we're going with Samantha. Yeah, I'm sorry, okay. Nina. If you were up against anyone else, girl. <laughs> okay. Next is Gail Weathers versus John Locke. Uh, this is another one that's tough because they're both, like, super strong characters, but Locke definitely has the upper hand physically. But Gail oh, is invincible. I know. But also, you know, the more that I think about it, does Gail really help out in any of the ghost fight fights? <laughs> she did in the latest one. Yeah. She got knocked out in the first one. She got shot in the second. The third. But she, she couldn't comes even back. get in the room. She does. She always comes back and she's always fighting with like a huge ass wound. That is true. But it's John Locke. I don't think she'd beat him. I don't think so either. He's literally, like, surviving on an island. And I... Th- yeah. Like, like, she beat Billy and, like, Mickey, but they're also thin, tall, scrawny yeah. guys. Locke is beefy. He is. Like, he's buff. Yeah. And you it, wouldn't know what superpowers that island gave to him. <laughs> yeah. I think Locke's gonna take it. Yeah. Okay. We're going with Locke. Also, I don't, think he, I don't think he would be attracted to her i don't think he has like any romantic bones about him well, so i don't have think... that one woman but i forgot who she is you didn't get that yeah one. but he was so in love with her that i don't think he would fall for gail so i don't think she could even use that to her advantage true true so john Locke has won that one yes our next fight is 11 versus edie brett <laughs> Okay, wow. unlike um, Roy, which apparently a lot of people agreed with, uh, disagreed with me on, Edie has, has no reservation. She's going to beat the shit out of this kid. No, but Edie has her own kid. She only likes him. She didn't like Julie. She didn't like any of Lynette's kids. I'm trying to think what kids she was around for. Like, really? I think she made fun of Juanita and Celia. Oh, 100%. I don't remember her interacting with MJ. Yeah, I don't remember. She croaked pretty soon after we... You know, yeah. MJ. I'm really trying to think about the kids now. I don't... I think if it's her flesh and blood... Yes, if it's any other kid, I don't think so. But at the end of the day, I feel like Eleven's still going to win. With her superpowers? (laughs) See, that's the problem. She has superpowers. Have we also ever seen Edie get into a fist fight? I don't remember. I know there's that one time she goes to the bar with Susan. I haven't watched that episode in so long. I think she fights a waitress because I think Susan told her that... I feel like she would be someone, like, you just say the wrong thing and then she'll fight you. Yeah. Maybe not, like, fist fight, but she's definitely, like, a very catty kind of person. Like, a catty. I don't know. I'm not seeing a logical way where I think Edie is winning this. I'm trying to think as more of a hands-on fight. But I don't, I'm trying to think of anything Eleven has done. See, I don't think Eleven would hurt somebody unless there was, like, a legitimate reason for it. Yes. Whereas I don't think Edie has those morals as much. True. Like, True. you stick a picture of Susan on Eleven and Edie's going to town. <laughs> Fair. So... <laughs> I don't know. I think it comes down to do we say Eleven is powerless here or not? To, all right. Well, to be fair, we didn't let Eleven. We let Eleven have powers last in last yeah. round. So I feel like we have to keep it consistent. <laughs> and I feel like there are people on this list who could beat her despite her powers. Yes. Because there are some very like ambiguously mortal 
people on here? Like, are they magical? Are they not? Who knows? I think they could win. So, sorry, Edie. Sorry. Rest in peace. No, she just oh, she yeah. just got KO. You're eliminated. You're eliminated. I'm sorry. You're she not getting the, you're not getting the trophy. I'm just not getting the trophy. Okay. There Edie is knocked out. I feel like I should be adding like sound effects to these. <laughs> Help out. <laughs> okay, next. This is a funny one. Okay. Coach Beard versus Tom Scavo. <laughs> That is the fight I want to see so bad. Same. Um, they are both just, like, the right level of weirdness. They'd be best friends, first off. Absolutely. Tom has more pent-up energy because of Lynette. And her is just five kids. <laughs> yeah. Know. Then again, Beard also has whatever her Jane. Sure. Who's also kind of crappy. But, like you said, Tom has five kids. Tom also just speaks more than Beard. Yeah. And I feel like Beard Beard has a heart. Like, don't get me. Tom mm. does, too. But Tom is willing. Tom takes the digs. I don't think Beard does. No. Tom is very, like, a pushover. Yeah. I can also see them two cat fighting. <laughs> Stop. No, I'm picturing like a full on karate jujitsu fight kind of thing. I can see like that. Like Alice Step Brothers. I can see that too. But I can. I can see Tom like stopping the fight and then also winning this. <laughs> it's. I think physically Tom might have it. I think Tom's taller. But. Mm, yeah. I don't know. Tom's kind of ripped in the later seasons. That is true. Pl- here's, here's what I'm going to say. Coach Beard would have Ted on his side, rooting for him to fight with love and use his words. Whereas I think Lynette would be telling like Tom to like uppercut him and everything. Yes. Yes. So Tom has the better coach. Yeah. <laughs> so I think Lynette that... would throw a boot camp. <laughs> okay, so we're going with Tom. I think so. All right. Wow. None of, the, none of the Ted Lasso characters are making it in this. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Wait, it's, it's funny too because didn't like Rebecca lose to Lynette? So just the, <laughs> the Ted Lasso characters have nothing on the Scavos. Next, Alice Smith. First, Karen McCluskey. This is actually probably going to be a really good fight to watch. <laughs> yeah, I like, I feel like it's because... kind of like a Lynette and Karen situation. Mm-hmm. But I think Alice has a little more sass and, like, won't back down where Lynette is, like... Again, right. I think they'd be great friends. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm seeing, like, Catherine and Karen, like season five six ish vibes with Alice and Karen. Yes. Yeah. So like I I think they'd have a nice little hug at the end. <laughs> and then go get a, a drink. <laughs> um but I think Alice Yeah. I'm thinking particularly season one, Alice. Like, mm-hmm. if we're, like season one, beginning of season two, Alice. I think we've seen her. Well, no, Penelope hit her. She did slap Hal. She did hit she Hal did. with a fire poker. She shot Edgar. She slapped Penelope as a teenager. I think Alice might take it. Karen also knows how to use a gun, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I don't want to use the age card, but, like... No, I think Cameron... Bus- I'm not even using the age card, because I think no. Cameron Busky, despite her age, is yeah, a fighter. Yeah, actually, yeah. Um, but I just see Alice... I think it's a really close fight, actually. Yeah. But my my gut is telling me Alice is the one to place the money yeah. on. Yeah. 
like I said, just specifically season one Alice. It's like I'm having like season like like three, season four, one two Alice. Alice yeah. Yes, season three Alice when she's all hippie and zen. Nah. No. Yeah. Uh, Karen would not take her seriously. No. I mean, we do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I think it's got to be Alice. Right. Specifically season one, season two Alice. I'm Karen, so sorry, Karen. You. you are one of my favorite characters. I'm so sorry. Karen. I really want to see you go against Nana Rose. Yeah, that too. Darn it. <laughs> okay. Now let's. Speaking of Miss Nana Rose. <laughs> next matchup. Is Nana Rose versus Dama Kelly? Velma shot her husband and her sister, but Nana Rose is like 400 years old. Yeah. Possibly a witch, has witnessed aliens. <laughs> On a snake. Around the block. Can we? Velma Kelly and Nana Rose are the same age. Because I'm sure Nana Rose was born in the 1910s, 1920s, ni- maybe 1900s. Stop, I forgot she Velma- was set around there. I'm like, what are you talking about? No, I hate that, but I love that. The so, 200, so two 400-year-olds, they're going against each other. <laughs> um... Like you said, I'm convinced Nana Rose is immortal. No, she is. Like, hasn't she been on her deathbed for like four seasons? Yes, she has. And like, we skipped five years too. Yeah. <laughs> um, like you said, Velma did shoot her husband and her sister, but I'm specifically thinking about the court scene where like she doesn't, um, what's the word? She kind of loses that battle. And I think Nana Rose is, like, super smart. Yeah. Old age. Also, she clearly has no morals. Like, she... Whatever she did in last night's episode, she, like... She did that so Put true. Abigail in Cheryl's body. And, like, she has nothing. She, she has nothing. Yeah. Apparently neither does Velma. She shot her husband and sister, but... But, like, for cheating reasons. Yeah. So like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think Nana Rose might win this. I love you, Velma, but just like you, you just shot your husband and your sister. Like, there's something about Nana Rose. There's like I don't know she what did it, it out of rage. Yeah. Like a heat of the moment thing, and I don't think she was ever planning to. Yeah. Whereas Nana Rose, I feel like is plotting a world takeover constantly. No, absolutely. Yeah. All right, Nana Rose. You're moving on. <laughs> All right. Next is ooh, so Catherine from Cruel Intentions versus Alan Grant. I'd just like to say I still have not watched Cruel Inten- rewatched Cruel Intentions like I planned to. So yeah. I don't remember much about her. I just know she's kind of nutty. Um, I. Alan fought dinosaurs. I know, but there's something just about all this weird, crazy shit that Catherine did. That's kind of making me lean towards her. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Ellen wouldn't even know what to do. Like, See, what we did last time, we said Archie was going to be the one who got himself eaten by a dinosaur. Catherine, I feel like, is just going to go ham on him. I feel like Catherine would somehow train the dinosaur to eat Alan. (laughs) Are you probably right? She's scary. <laughs> yeah, she is. And I feel like Alan is too sweet. He wouldn't try to try really it. put much into it. Yeah. I'm kind of leaning towards Catherine. I'm so sorry, Doctor Grant. <laughs> Doctor Grant, you're just thriving with the dinosaurs right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can you can just go live a happy little life with Ellie. Yes. No, she no <laughs> Okay. Wow, that went a lot faster than I thought it was. Are we already done? We're done with one side, at least. Dang! Okay. Next. Now it's going to get hard, because we got rid of the sort of wild cards. Yeah. Okay, the next side. We have Jenna Harding and Catherine Mayfair. Oh... 
I have no idea. I think they're very even with one another. Yeah. Jen might have a touch more feelings. Yeah. Than Catherine. Then again, she's also going to have Judy in her corner, who is like Ted Lasso, rooting for peace and love. So. I mean, I was going to choose, I think I was leaning a little bit towards Catherine Moore, partic- particularly like the end of season five, beginning of six, like, you know, <laughs> when she's yeah. like really distraught. Um, I, because really, Jen didn't do really that bad of anything in the show. No. It's been a while since I watched it. I know. Um, but I think I think Catherine has more fight in her. Yeah, I feel like Jen has a little bit more feelings and sympathy. Also, a Jen little has bit. young kids. Maybe she'd want to set an example. True. I mean, she did kill a guy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Catherine shot her husband. That's true. She also stabbed herself. And I will never forget that. <laughs> that's just going to be our argument. Yeah. Catherine stabbed herself. Like, that's, like, the no, ultimate No, Catherine is... Catherine's dedicated. Yeah. Catherine's not letting go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Catherine? Catherine is wanting to side. <sighs> okay. The next one is um, Phil Cott picking Scooby and Shaggy. Stop. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm just picturing her face here I when know. she realizes who her competition is. Uh. Um, I I want to say Scoopy and Shaggy. <laughs> There's no way. No way that Elma's winning, or no way Scooby and Shaggy winning. Scooby and Shaggy are winning. <laughs> Oh, it's just too funny just thinking about it. But, like, yeah, like, I'm picturing Alma's face. And just the thing that she would say. Like, I don't know what she'd say, but it would a thousand percent have me rolling on the floor. Um, Actually, yeah, like, Alma has no morals towards the end of the show. Yeah. I, uh, I think she might take it. Yeah. I don't Sorry, think take, Scoob and Shag. I don't think Scooby and Shag would take her seriously. No. Mm-hmm. Like, nobody took her seriously. Justice for Alma Philcott. My queen. She is arguably a bad person, but she's my bad person. Yes. I stand women who do bad things. <laughs> okay. That's the theme of this episode. Yes. Okay. The next one is Miranda Hobbs. Against Kate Austin. I, Kate's a fugitive. Kate is a fugitive. I, I, yeah, I just, I don't think I can see Miranda fighting a fugitive. Miranda puts fugitives in jail. Like, yeah. she's a lawyer. But I feel like Kate would outsmart her. Kate is smart. Yeah. We also don't know what kind of lawyer she is. Yeah. Is she a corporate lawyer? Like, I really, I genuinely don't know. I just know she helped Samantha in the second movie when she gets caught having sex on the beach with that guy in Abu Dhabi. I mean, like, I think lawyers know how to fight everything, but there's always yeah. that, that one specialty. <laughs> like we said with Locke, Kate is living on an island, just True. living off the land, and she's a fugitive. Yeah, yeah, I can't spell my <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, Miranda. Love ya, but... Yeah, you put up a good fight. I forget who she had last... Oh, she had Dale and Brennan. She has not had great matchups here. No, she hasn't. Okay. Next, we have Anna Coleman against Rita Costello. Ah, Rita. (laughs) We're not even (laughs) arguing yet. No, I think... Yeah, no, Rita's taking that. I think Anna would put up a bit of a fight, but I think Rita's taking that. Yeah. Okay. 
Next. Angie Bolin. Against Lynette Scott, though. Oh, I forgot about this one. So I think this is like the first matchup we've had. Well, besides Catherine and Martha, we haven't actually fully know if they knew each other before yeah. the show. But this is the first matchup where like they they know each other. I can't remember. Do they have much con? Oh wait, no, it's Susan. I was gonna say Lynette thinks that she her son hurt her but it's susan thinks that their son hurt julie no i think lynette put that in susan's head though right and, but other than that i'm trying to think they really i know gabby and angie kind of interact brie and angie interact as well Catherine uses angie <laughs> she does yeah, there's, like, a few things. I think she's trying to get, like, Angie to kind of do her dirty work a bit. Okay, okay. So I really don't think... What's going on with the Scavos in season six? Lynette's pregnant in season six. Yes! I, to be honest, I don't think they have much of a storyline. I'm gonna go double check this. It's Lynette's pregnant and Eddie's around. Yes! Fucking Eddie, man. Angie makes bombs. <laughs> that is very true. So, and she's sneaky. She's she's on the run. Wait, is season six also the season where, or is that season five where Porter, Preston, which everyone is having the affair with the older woman? Season five, because that's the fire in the club. Right, okay. I, my gut wants to say Angie, but I'm also kind of thinking Lynette. But, uh, I, I you said Angie, Angie's in the bomb, did the bomb. Angie also grew up in New York City. Mm. Angie also has a bat. <laughs> Angie might win. Yeah. I think it would be a very good fight, though. No, definitely an entertaining fight. Wish Mark Terry wrote this. Um, he let us down. He did. I'm still just trying to figure out to make sure that they haven't had anything, but nothing really, like, stuck out. Okay, but I think, like you said, at the end of the day, Lynette and Angie would be a fabulous fight. For sure. Just the New York blood and Angie, I think, just takes it up a notch. Yeah. I think she's got to. Sorry, Lynette. I love you. Oh, the fact that Tom has moved on and Lynette has not. She's going to be so oh, pissed. That, but that brings more fight to Tom because of, you know, her coaching. Yeah. Okay. Wow. This one next one is probably going to be easy, I think. Okay. Fran Fine against Tanya Robertson. Uh, Tanya. Yeah. I don't even have an argument. There's there's no way I can justify Fran winning that. No. I yeah. Like let's be real. If Fran play Tanya in the movie, <laughs> she'd be dead in the first five seconds. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's another one where the characters are in the same show. I don't really remember them ever meeting. But the log lady and Audrey Horn. See, my, my, my thing is always going to come down to the log lady has her log. I know. And she can use it. She could. We said they can use with their surroundings. I Yeah, I just think that... I don't think Audrey would... I feel like Audrey doesn't have fight in her. No. Audrey's sneaky. Yeah. And, like, kind of conniving. But, like, she's not mean-spirited, I don't feel like. I think she's genuinely, like, a really sweet girl just, like, kind of looking to be loved. Yeah. Whereas the log lady, I just think, like, if the log tells her to do it, she's going to do it. Yeah. And she's going to use it to help. So Very I true. think she's going to win. I want to see her against Nana Rose. Uh, for a second, I was going to say we didn't have Nana Rose move on, but we did. Uh, Nana's going to win. 
Mm-hmm. Actually, yeah. depending on who she gets, she could. I don't know. Very interesting. Okay, our last one. This is going to be so hard. Bree Vandekamp against Billy Loomis. Oh. Bree is a better shot than him. Bree's an NRA. Bree's a Republican. <laughs> Damn right. Um, um, but, like, I, also, like, Billy apparently has things for, like, people that have affairs. And, you know, Bree had an affair. Ooh, so he's going to be going after her. But then again, it's not his mom or his dad. So. But he might be able to put himself in the shoes of her kids. Like but maybe I don't think her kids care. <laughs> no, but maybe she maybe he'd like seduce Julie and Julie would be very upset because her dad is dating Mrs. Vandekamp. Julie? True. Julie. <laughs> Julie. What? Who's Julie's mom? <laughs> Carl's her dad. Fair point. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were talking about oh, Danielle. Danielle does not care. Yeah. Danielle okay. got the fuck out of Dodge. I kind of forgot Julie and Carl were related for us. <laughs> I don't like Julie that much. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I like um, her beginning, but she's, yeah. I don't like time on Julie. Um, see, I feel like the only thing they're really going to have to use, like, of their surroundings, I guess a knife for Billy as well, but guns is what I'm thinking. And if it comes down to guns, I think Brie might take it. Brie has multiple guns. No, here's what we're going to say. Here's what we're going to say. Do you remember when Paul Young got shot and the cops came to her door? And she's like, if I wanted to shoot Paul Paul Young, he'd be dead. Yes, that is true. I think Brie's going to win. I think Billy just has bad aim. Yeah. Brie doesn't. I think Billy could take her in a physical fight, but bring guns into it, and I think Brie's winning. That's very true. Yeah. And she also has shotguns, because remember when she shot up, um... She could probably double fist it, have, like, a shotgun and a pistol on the other. Wow. She's I one talented that woman. for her. So I'm sure why. <laughs> um, okay, Brie Vandekamp, you are moving on. Ding, ding, ding! Yay, we've narrowed it down to 16! The final 16. The sweet 16. <laughs> the sweet 16. I don't watch basketball. <laughs> Oh, hey. This is interesting. There's there's some that are still eh, and there's some that are still really easy. I okay. Think. Okay. I feel like things could change a lot here. I know. Okay. I'm nervous. Okay. Looping it back around. This one actually might be interesting. Catherine from Cool Intentions against Nana Rose. I think Nana Rose would immediately summon her to a demon. <laughs> that is true. But I part of me feels like the drug thing would really throw off Nana Rose. I'm trying to think of like mm-hmm. g- grandma and granddaughter relationship right now, which I feel like is not the best way to go about this. No, Nana does not. <laughs> no. I I feel like Catherine would I, Catherine might be her best fight yet. I yeah, think absolutely. Catherine might underestimate her a little bit. Yeah. She'll be like, oh, like some old lady I'm going to have to fight. And then Nana Rose is just like going to kick it into high gear. Yeah. I think it would be a really like interesting fight. Because I just like the Catherine's mind and like her whack ass mind is just insane. Yeah. But yeah, I think Nana Rose might pull this one out. I think wow. she might. I, I can't. See Catherine winning this. It, I, I think, think it'll be close, but I, I think just... it'll be very close. But I think Nana Rose is just that little extra crazier than her. Yes. That she'd pull something out. Yeah. She'd like summon her alien friends and Abigail's ghost and. Very true. There's so much she can do, and then run her over with the wheelchair. So okay, Nana Rose, you're moving on. Love that for you. Next. This is gonna be a funny one. <laughs> Alice Smith mm. against Tom Scavo. Stop. <laughs> I think Alice is gonna win. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. I don't even. No, I like... no. Alice is so much like Lynette. Yeah. 
No, I think Alice is going to win. She's Alice a scary win. lady. If I Lynette think... and Alice were going up against each other, I think it would be a different story. Yeah. But... But I think that Tom would just kind of be a little afraid of her. Yes. I think Alice is going to win. Yeah. Well, Alice also knows how to use a gun. <laughs> Oh, I love how really? all these women, like, know how to use guns. And the guys, they're just either really bad shots. Yes. Okay. Next, we have Eleven. Okay. First, John Locke. <sighs> okay, arguably, does the island give them magical powers? I feel like John can use Jacob, which I know you haven't gotten that far. I, like, vaguely know. About Jacob and then the black smoke and whatever. Yeah. And I feel like they wouldn't let John lose to Eleven. I feel like they'd, like, low-key back him up. Because I think at one point John becomes Jacob. I think so. It's been a while since I've seen Lost and it got very confusing for the end. Um, You know, you may be right. I think yeah. Locke is maybe the only one who could beat her. Yeah. And it isn't even him. It's, like, the island that would beat her. Yeah. I feel like, you know, like, when Eleven, like, really tries and her nose starts to bleed, like, I feel like it would get to that point. Yeah. But, like, I, don't, I think the island's too strong. I think it, I think the island we might win. We should the island on here. We should know, because it would have won. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> but you put anyone in there? No, the black smoke. Between Richard, the black, the man in black, and Jacob, they're back in lockup. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Eleven. You got no shot in this one. <laughs> Lock, you are moving on. Great. Now Lock's going to be invincible, too. <laughs> He's got the island on his side. Well, well, well. We'll See, discuss, the black like, smoke is really only coming into play because he's up against Eleven. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. When we move on, we'll, like, we'll take out all the other factors to, okay. like, narrow it down. Okay. Okay. Next is Robin Trabowski against Samantha Jones. Robin? <laughs> well. I look, feel like they'd be friends. No, they would. I think Robin's going to take it. I think it would be a good fight. Yeah. I think I, Samantha is more scrappy where Robin is, like, more into fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Robin's like a tomboy, too. Yeah. I, I, I think Robin. Yeah. I kind of want to be Sam, but... Yeah, I just, it, I think it'd be close. It'd be close, but I just, my gut is telling me it's Robin. Yeah. We've seen that side of Robin way more than we've seen that side of Samantha. It's very true. So I think that makes it easier to justify Robin. That is true. Robin also will spend time in the wilderness. Yeah. Oh, we saw Sam when she went camping. In a cottage, and she did not handle it well. It's gonna be wrong. Okay, Rob. <laughs> okay. Although Samantha looks very cute in her little outdoorsy yeah. outfit. Okay. Um, I start on the bottom again. No, I'll start on the top. Um, I have. Catherine Mayfair against Alma Philcott. I. This is another example where I feel like they could be friends. Yes. In the same life, a thousand percent would be friends. Yeah. Because I feel like they're both kind of like misunderstood in a sense. Yeah. Would would Catherine underestimate Alma? I I mean a lot of people underestimate Alma. I think Catherine is kind of a bitch. 
And I don't think Alma would take that very well. So then I think that would kind of be the thing that starts the fight. I just don't know how it would end. Alma could poison her in her food. But Catherine would be the one doing the cooking. She couldn't inject it with some shit. (laughs) Yeah, but how is she going to get in the kitchen to poison the food? Because there's no way Catherine is letting her cook She could be like, oh, uh, can I have some, like, whipped cream for my pie? And she's like, oh, of course, let me go whip some up for you. And she'll inject it in her pie slice. I mean, yeah. (laughs) Is that how we're going to justify this? Is she just going to poison her? I feel like she's going to have to do it slyly. Because I think Catherine wouldn't, she wouldn't just go up and shoot her. No. I mean, she killed Rita accidentally. Did she? Was it accidentally? I know she followed her down to the alley with the knife, but I feel like it was an accident that she actually stabbed her. I don't think it was an accident. Okay. I... I think you might be right. I don't want Catherine to go! I don't want her either. That's my wife! But if there was any woman to outsmart her, I think it would be Alma. Fine. I think Alma could outsmart any of the housewives, to be fair. Mark Cherry knew what he was doing with that character. Right? They're written by the same person. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Catherine Mayfair, I'm so sorry. Yes. It's my wife. Love her the most. Okay. This next one I think is interesting as well. But it might also be really easy. Kate Austin against Rita Costello. I... I don't... I think... I think, um, Kate... Yeah. I do think that would be a good fight. Yeah. But I I think... It always... It it all comes down to Kate's a fugitive. Not only that... And living off the island. Not too. But... I just, I think Rita fought more with words than she did any other way. Like, she was just a stone-cold bitch. Yeah, Rita had an easy fight to get here. I mean, she had Chandler Bing and Anna Coleman. But with, like, Kate, like, she's fighting. And I feel like Rita doesn't really know how to fight. No, I think she's too ladylike. She's manipulative. But I don't think she knows how to fight like Kate. I don't think she can manipulate Kate either. No. So I think, yeah, I think Kate's going to win. Hey. All right. Next up, we have Angie Bolin against Tanya Robertson. I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen. I just went through so many emotions in my head. I'm like, Angie, Tanya, Angie. Tanya. Yeah. Tanya was fighting for her life. Yeah. Angie, I think. I think she would just do it for fun. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm not wrong. Angie is, like, a full-grown adult. Tanya is, like, 16, 17. Maybe. <laughs> so, like, I don't, I don't know. Um, then again, she can use her surroundings. She'll have a corkscrew. She can jab her in the eye. But Angie makes bombs. <laughs> Angie makes bombs, so I think she's going to win. <laughs> um... Yeah. You know what? No, I'd be scared of Angie. I, yeah, I give it to Angie. Too. <laughs> Tanya's too sweet. I think she'd be scared of Angie. Even though yes. she fought, like, some demon, half-dog, human, wolf, cat thing. Yeah. Yeah, whatever no. the fuck that was. <laughs> this one's a funny one. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> the log lady against Bree. Oh, Brie would hate her. This is my only argument, and I think this would win. Brie would take a rifle and shoot her log. 
<laughs> Gun and first lock is like is Yeah. I think Bree would be try to be so nice to her at first. She'd be like, Oh, can I get you anything? Would you like some tea? Yeah. And then the log lady would be like, My log doesn't want it. And Bree would be like, Well fuck you and your log then and shoot her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't want to see the log lady go. Ugh, I thought she'd make it far, but like once see, again. I think the log lady would try to hit her with the log and that's where Bree would bring out the gun and just be like, Yeah, no. And then I think the log lady would feel really lost without the log. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dang, I'm kind of proud of Brie, actually. She's making it far, and I didn't think Go she would. Go, Brie. Okay. Okay. Yay! We have wow. the Elite Eight. Wow. Look at us. These Some of these might be interesting. Because two out of the four matchups are from the same show. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Service. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna wrap it back up to the normal. Spot. There are still two of our all-time favorite characters left on this list. I know. Right now, they're not even remotely in the same bracket, so okay. it's fine. First one. This is an interesting one, and then like actually really good. Robin Trubatsky against John Locke. Oh, so they both kind of know how to fight, I think. Yeah, they both spent time in I the mean, wilderness. Locke, yeah. I think Locke might have the upper hand there. He had to live on an island. Yeah, but, like, Robin's dad dropped her in the middle of the wilderness, and she had to f- b- find her way out. <laughs> Fair. So, like, they both know how to survive off the land. <laughs> Would it come down to physical? I think Locke could take her. Really? I feel like Robin's high key strong. Yeah. Also height wise, I think Robin's a little bit taller. Do you think? I think so. How I tall think... is he? She's we 5'10". we discussed she's like five ten, right? Yeah, I think he so. He is height in feet. What's a hundred? Uh, six and a half feet. Really? Yeah. He seems like short to me. <laughs> um. So he's got to read a little bit. Not by much. Yeah. There's. I. He wants to say Robin for some reason. Me. I and I say Locke. Okay, I want to say Robin because I feel like at heart, like John, I feel like they'd be great friends. Locke is kind of a sweet guy. He is. And Robin's not. (laughs) No. Locke's kind of an older guy, too. I think he would just be tired. I mean, all the fights he's had to go through. He just had to fight 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 11. 11. (laughs) Maybe he'd be tired. Yeah. I mean, Locke? I don't think he would call out the black smoke for this one. No. Because I think he could take her if he really, really tried. Yeah. Robin also has 27 dogs. <laughs> that is true. Robin might take it. I, I This would be a bomb-ass fight, though. I would, This that is would the be... one that I would pay, like, real good money to see. Oh, that's so tough. Yeah. It feels wrong to give it to either of them. Yeah. I think we just have to base it on their last fight. I think Robin might take it because who did she fight last? Sam. <laughs> Bob just fought a literal something kind of child. Supernatural child. Yeah, I think he might be a little tuckered out. I think Robin might take it. I think Robin would employ the dogs on him too. I mean, Bob has hogs on the island, but your hogs, wild hogs are scary. True. I feel like Locke is tired. If we're talking about, like, season, like, six Locke, Locke is tired of fighting, too. Yeah. <laughs> I think Robin just always has a little bit of fight in her. Locke being gone, though, opens up so many possibilities for how this bracket could end. Yeah. Because really, I... like, he could have won the whole thing just by having the black smoke in his black back pocket. Yeah. I have no idea how this can end now. I'm nervous. Okay. Yeah, this is interesting. Okay. All right, Robin. 
moved on. Our next matchup. Alma Silcott against Kate Aston. I want to say Kate. But at the same time... I think Kate would throw hands on Alma. Yeah, and none of the other people I could see that Alma has gone up against, I don't think would put up as much of a fight as I think Kate would. Yeah. Kate also lived off the land. Alma is a housewife. Yeah, I feel like Alma could befriend a lot of the people she was up against and manipulate them that way, and I feel like she could not make friends with Kate. No. And I think... I think, like, her main thing is she can poison people. I don't think she'd even get a chance to get close enough to Kate to try and poison her. Very true. And there's, like, no food there that's really going to be able to be for her to slip it in. Yeah. (sighs) Something also just tells me Kate would survive any kind of injection that Alma gives her. (laughs) You know, the island powers. She's also actually dead. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Sorry to spoil her. But yeah. Kate. Yeah, I think Kate too. Alma, you put up a great fight, girl. She did. She got far. You yeah. I, I think looking at the bracket, you wouldn't think so. Everyone yeah. underestimates her. I underestimated <laughs> you. I'm so sorry. Please don't come kill me. Oh my god, Alma, my queen. I love you. <laughs> I literally just can, does someone have like an Alma Phil got like screen pack? Steam pack? Oh my Thank god. You. Just send it to me. Please do. For one. Haley. <laughs> you got one. Jenna, I'm sure you got one. No, they were all Rita fans. I swear, we were the only two Alma fans. How, was the, how are you not Alma fans? That girl was because so it's Lana, funny. It's against Lana Perilla, and everybody loves Lana Perilla. Did you nobody she didn't no, like Rita. Yeah, and nobody appreciated Allison Pullman as much as they should. Girl is funny as heck. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you. I, she needs to be. Great. Anymore. This is our women for Allison Thomas. <laughs> yes, Queen. <laughs> We're Love so it. sorry for eliminating you. Okay. okay. Next one. Is it Alice? Yes. Against? I have no idea. Nana? Yep. Fuck. <laughs> I I genuinely think that Alice could win this one. I was gonna say I feel like this could be a fair fight. Yes. Um, Alice knows she's batshit crazy. So, um, I I think she just Alice has real beef with the Blossoms. True. True. So like, does Nana have beef with her though? I don't think so. Who can have beef with Alice? She's an angel. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Um, I mean, the hearing when she was Nana was there. I don't remember. I'm. Hmm. I was gonna say Alice has so much beef with Penelope that would she just want to take out Nana? But like Nana doesn't like Penelope either, so maybe they'd be friends. <laughs> oh my god, that's so true. <laughs> But I think she loves her kids more, and I think she hates the Blossoms for what they've done to Polly. Rest in yeah. peace. Um, <laughs> so I also, th- isn't Nana, in a way, sort of kind of responsible for the Blossom bloodline, therefore yeah. for Hal, therefore the Black Hood, therefore the thing that kind of ruined Alice's life forever? <laughs> Nana Rose is just responsible for everything that Nana happened Rose, in Riverdale ever. because oh, she's 400 years old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I like, think Alice, Alice would tip her out of the wheelchair and just kick the shit out of her with her hot heels. I feel like drown her in, um... Oh, that too. In the lake. What's it called? Because, wait, is Nana, like, paralyzed? Like, why is she in a wheelchair? Do I think that's because she's old. Okay. But you know what? Maybe she is, because that one scene, she was crawling to the phone. Yeah. And, like, why wouldn't you just get up and walk? But then again, like, also, if you don't use your legs for a while, like, you're not walking. But like, she was very dramatic. I'm just trying to think. Rough. If she's paralyzed, she can't swim out of the pool. 
if she's not paralyzed, she could swim out of the pool. That is true. But, like, if she doesn't know how to use her legs, then she's really not swimming out of that pool. This fight is hard. See, the thing that we've been arguing is that Nana has, like, lived through so much of this stuff. Alice has lived through it, too. She survived the Black Hood and organ harvesting cult, took down the organ harvesting cult, two psychotic sons, a daughter who... I don't... Well, actually... I don't know. There's really serial no argument that I can jeans. make about the kids. Yeah, serial killer genes. Also, like, I don't want to use, like, Polly's, like, whole highway thing. You know, yeah. that. But, like, Alice got very involved with that. Had to help Betty with that. So, like, had to talk to some creepy-ass truckers. So, I think Alice might... Also, the second that that guy was, like, threatening Polly, Alice was, like, do it, Betty. Kill him. Like, she had no nothing. That is true. I'm going to pull the mother card here, and I think that, like, mother instinct, intuition, like, Alice is protecting her kids by killing Nana Rose, but Nana but doesn't give hurting, a shit about that. Is she hurting Juniper and Dagwood for killing their crazy grandma? Yes. Okay. okay. They still have Cheryl. Just wow! Just Where's the other of Nana? Wow, and I really thought she'd make far, but, like, you know... <laughs> Nana was going to win! No, this is why it's interesting to have them up against characters in their same show. Especially with storylines yeah, that don't really Alice cross over. Yeah, Alice would know all the dirty details and everything about her life. She could take her. Yeah, wow. Also, I feel like Nana wouldn't have anything really against Alice. You know, I feel like in life, Nana really likes Alice. Yeah, because I think she hates Penelope enough that she'd be like, oh yeah, allies. Yeah. But I think Alice has enough built-up energy and kind of would blame Nana for everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Heck. Our next one is Angie Bolin against Brie Vandekamp. Which we we got a little bit of them. I... Angie makes bombs. Brie's a great shot. Yeah. I'm just, I'm trying, it's hard, too, because I can only base Angie off the one season we saw yeah. her. I can base Brie off of all eight seasons. <laughs> Cause, like, so, the one- would we say it's just a season six fight? Because that would give Andy the- Angie the upper hand, because Brie Absolutely. is so wrapped up in Carl. Yeah, I'm trying to think, la- what happens later in season six? No, so... Orson is in season six, and that's why she got together with Carl, because she's help, Carl's helping she's her get into forcing Orson, and then Orson comes in the wheelchair, and then I think that's also the season when Rex's son comes in. You know, Brie is really pent up this season. <laughs> like, she's got Sam coming. She's got Orson, who is in the wheelchair, refuses to shower, so she hoses him down. The whole affair with Carl. Carl dies. Catherine goes a little off the deep end, so she loses a friend in Catherine, has a bunch of her events ruined because of Catherine, has her car keyed because of Catherine. She's going through a lot, so maybe she might have a hand here. I'm also thinking that, like, if Angie messes anything up with her business, Angie's dead. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> but, like, Angie would, like, get revenge. Because I think Angie's really trying hard not to, like, give up her past. Right. So I think Bomb, like, what she, Angie's got a bat. She doesn't have a bomb. But Brie has guns. And Brie's really angry this season. She has a lot going on. She's getting played a lot. And she's just lost Carl. Yeah. Dare I say, Brie might win. I think there would be a lot of, like, yelling at each other. Oh, yeah. That'd be a hot fight. But Brie and, like, a lady manner yelling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but Angie all New York on her. Oh, yeah. She'd probably start yelling in Italian. And, like, even though Angie's, like, New York Italian, like, I don't think she'd throw hands on Brie. I don't think anyone would throw hands on Brie. Brie is, like, very poised, and I feel yeah. like she would condemn them to hell if they did. Yeah, I don't think anyone wants to touch her. I don't blame no. them. Okay. Okay. We're down to our final four. 
Yeah. Final four? Yeah. Shit. Um, these are interesting. Right now, it's like the Battle of the Housewives versus, like, Wilderness Girls. Okay. So, like, this could really go either way. <laughs> oh, you know, I would just like to say I'm very surprised by this final four. So am I. I really didn't. I, <laughs> as much as I love Alice and Brie, I did not expect them to make it this far. No. No. I think okay. it just depends on who your matches are, so. Should we take out the outside factors to these now? Because, like I said, like, we have housewives that know how to use guns. And then girls who know how to survive in wilderness. <laughs> you know, maybe we might have to. <laughs> yeah, I think we should. Okay. Like, okay. this is, like... To the death kind of match, but not actually yeah. Just nothing a but good your fist. knockout, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, you got to pin them for, like, three seconds. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The first one is Is Alice. it Robin versus Alice? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My gut wants to say Alice. I... Um. I... I... Mm. Something just tells me it's Alice. I feel like Robin will throw hands, but part of me doesn't think she'll throw hands on Alice. I could see that. Because I think Alice would be very sweet at first. I could see Alice just shoving her to the ground. (laughs) Honestly, with how much Alice has gone through in her life, I think she would just take all that energy and just, like, this is her chance to just let it out. And let it out on somebody. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like they could be friends, but, like, I'm just trying to picture, like, the fight in my head. (laughs) You know, you saying that Alice would just shove her to the ground, I kind of do see that. Yeah, and I just can't see Robin putting up a fight for some reason. And I love Robin. And, like... I know. Like, I would like to practice this now. Like, yes, I love Alice and Brie, but, like... Them getting this far has nothing to do with how much we love them. No. <laughs> no, just they just got some good matches. Up. Yeah. It came down a lot to Bree's uh, gun. Guns. Gun yes, so that's, we have taken that out. Um, yeah. But. I don't know if there's a definitive way to justify why I feel like it's Alice, but I just yeah. feel like it is. Also, I think Robin has had tougher matches, so maybe she's tired. I feel like Alice would actually shove. I feel like Robin would have, like, a little, like, eh, sissy yeah, I thing. Yeah, I feel like Robin would just, oh, no, I feel like Robin might underestimate her a little bit. Like, see how prim yeah. and proper Alice is? Because Alice would show up in a full button-down blouse, nice tailored slacks, heels. Robin would take one look at her and be like, oh, fuck, piece of cake. Yeah. Like, I'm winning this thing. And then Alice would just go ham. Yeah. Like, she's, Alice is from the south side. True. She was in a gang. <laughs> that is true. That is not an outside factor to why us have all. We not, why have we <laughs> forgot that? Because the show forgot about it, to be honest. True. So, um, honestly, you know, I think she would be underestimated and then it just immediately go in. And because Robin isn't expecting it, I think Alice would be able to take that upper hand. Alice would show up in her Southside Serpent jacket. Actually, yeah, probably. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. She dressed no. in her shirt. Wow. Yeah, I think Alice is winning this. Wow. God, if she wins this whole thing, it's going to look so staged. <laughs> I know. I promise it's really not. No, because really... honestly, this entire time, I have been thinking that Locke was going to win it. Yeah. Like, I said to Alexi before we started filming the last episode, I'm like, I think Locke, Locke is going to win. Like, I put him on this list thinking he was going to win. Yeah, no, generally, I thought Alice was going to get kicked out by Karen McCluskey. Honestly, that could have gone either way. <laughs> yeah. But just, like, my gut was telling me Alice today. I know, I'm trying to go with my gut. Yeah, okay, Alice. Whoever this final matchup is, though, like, like the final, final matchup, that could change everything. I might walk out. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I might just call it quits at this entire game. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now it's Kate, Kate versus Brie. Brie. You know, it, like, I feel like this is the same kind of thing with Robin and Brie. I mean, Robin and Alice. 
even yeah. though Brie is very proper, and I said before, I don't think anyone would throw hands at Brie. Kate, I think, would. Uh, yeah. And Brie doesn't have her gun here. And no, I don't think doesn't. Brie has a single <laughs> ounce of fighting in her body. No, I mean, I... She fought someone. Oh my god, she fought Catherine! <laughs> but that wasn't really a fight. That was her chasing Catherine. But she put her hands on someone. <laughs> okay, fair. Um, Why do I feel like she fought somebody else? Oh, I feel like she, I feel like she got down and dirty in the mud with someone. Oh, was it Gabby? It might have been. Oh, no, they all went into the pool together, too. Right. Okay, that wasn't a fight, though. That was, like, just yeah. an argument between friends. Yeah. No, Brie didn't even get pulled in. She jumped in. She she did a ten, a ten dive, like, right yeah. into the pool. I'm kind of, like, mad at us that we've gotten Brie this far just for the sole purpose that she can use guns. And, like, now we actually take them away from her that she can't <laughs> fight. Is it unfair um, that we took the guns away? No, because, like, let's be real. If Brie and Alma were paired up against each other and I still took their guns away, I think Brie would win. Yeah. But it's Kate. Also, there was just no way of saying that they would, like, there's no way of saying that Kate or who was Alice paired up against? Robin? Or before, Nana Rose. No, Robin. So, like, Kate and Robin, they obviously would have taken it. If you hadn't have taken out the factors. So like, I feel like it was yeah. the only way to have a fair fight. True. Because Alice and Brie are basically the same character. No, a thousand percent. Because Brie is a little more composed. Um, Roberto literally based Alice off of Brie Vandekamp. And you cannot change my mind about no, that. No, he 100% did. Um, I... I think... Oh, here's the other thing. Bree's tall. She's got height on her. True. But Kate, I feel like, is scrappy. Then again, I feel like Kate would say some pretty harsh things that would maybe get Bree. But mm-hmm. I still don't know if that would be enough for Bree to win. Yeah, I think, like, with Robin and Alice, again, like, I feel like Bree would be, like, a little, like, sissy fight. I think Kate would throw hands. Yeah, Kate's going for the knockout. Yeah. I don't want to argue this last fight. (laughs) No. This one's going to be interesting. Okay. So, for our final round. Oh, my God. I never, I didn't think this was going to be, like, the last. I did not. No. I, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. It's Alice Smith against Kate Austin. Do I dare say I feel like Alice could take the thing? (laughs) If anyone were to take Kate, I think it would be Alice and second Robin. Here's the thing. Kate is a fugitive. Alice has also been to jail. Oh my god, you're so right. Alice is a fucking gang member. She was born on the south side. She shot her uh, gang leader boyfriend, fiance person. Like, hit her serial killer husband. Like, I mean, Alice has a very good rep for her right now. She does. I need to remember what Kate was arrested for. For the crash, Kate has spent many years fleeing the law after killing her abusive father. It was killing someone. To achieve her goal, she would commit several other crimes and would turn to bank robbery, assault, and seduction. Okay. So. So they both killed men that manipulated and abused them. Why would they be friends? <laughs> they would. Um, They're so similar the more you think about it, though. Yeah. They're probably the same height, too. Kate's a little shorter. Actually, I also... Because I think Machen is, like, 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, her height is always a mystery, because I think Wiki I says it. one thing. <laughs> it's totally something different. Um... It's so, because there's no factors here. There's yeah. no guns to come into play, no, like, black smoke to come and wipe her out. 
with your list of crimes that Kate committed, she killed her abusive father. Yeah. But the other thing she does were bank robberies. Assault and seduction. Which assault? Was, okay. Yeah. But, like, bank robberies, I mean, that's not good. No. But, like, that isn't going to factor in here. Alice, I feel like, definitely got into a lot of fights as a teenager. Like, she fought Penelope. I was going to say, like, that even though she wasn't under the influence, like, she could never let a man get into her. But Kate also manipulated many men. Kate got married. Would Alice let Kate manipulate her? The only reason Edgar was able to semi-manipulate her was because she went there for Polly. True. See, it's such a tough match because it really could go either way. There's just yeah. We just need to find that one thing that I think would push it over. Because, like, no one on the island at first knows that Kate's a fugitive. She does so such a good job of hiding it. And, like, there's... In that first season, they're trying to figure out who is the fugitive. Because I think they find the handcuffs or something like mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Uh, see, you can't even argue that because Alice was able to hide that she was undercover. Yeah. So they're both very good. Keep- this is a fight I think would go on for like a week. <laughs> yeah, it really would. Alice is not much a fighter in these last two seasons. <laughs> but she's a not little bit. enough. I know. She walked straight up to that guy and punched him. The guy who was teasing her about Polly and everything. True. And it was a good punch. She was icing her knuckles at the end. Yeah, that's true. When she fought Penelope as a teenager, she went straight for the neck. I'm trying to think Kate in later seasons. I feel like she softened up a little bit. Kate, no, she did. Because I think at that point... I'm mostly remembering her, Sawyer, and Juliet. And I think at this point, at that point, she's okay with Sawyer and Juliet being together. I think she tries to help save Juliet when she is about to die, but she can't. And I think she kind of feels guilty. See, I don't even think we have, like, friends who have watched both that could, like, help us with this. Just, like... Jenna. Do we phone a friend? (laughs) Do we dare phone a friend? (laughs) I can't even think of, like, one... The only thing that is making me lean towards Alice is just because of her serpent past. But Kate is a fugitive. Yeah. So it's kind of the same thing. And they can't bring in any outside factors, so it's not like Alice could bring in, like, FP and Betty and all of them. Uh, Oh, Jenna said Alice. Oh. I just think she'd have more fight in her. That's her answer. I mean, I can see it. Cause, okay, once again, but, like, ugh. Kate has been on the island for, what, years at this point? But also, Alice is so drained from Polly and raising the twins in the five-year time jump. But she's getting laid by Frank now. So she has got some light back in her life. She does. She does. And even I feel like being on the town council does. What if we told her, fight for Polly? Okay, what? All right, so we're going to end the episode here. <laughs> <laughs> for real, though. I don't want to argue it anymore. Here's my factor. I think Kate is more aggressive at throwing hands. But I feel like Alice has a place in her heart to fight for, if that makes sense. Like, she has people she has to, more to fight, fight for. for. Yes. Kate doesn't have many people. Yeah. I think, yes, Kate is more aggressive. I think Alice might be easier to provoke. Like, I think you could say enough things to her, bother her enough, that she would snap. I feel like Kate could snap instantly. Like, without provoking. Right, now we're going to go back to school. <laughs> But it's very much the same storyline, too, where, like, they start off such badass characters, but they get softer throughout the show. But, like, like Jenna said about Alice having more fight, I think it goes back to she has something to fight for, where I don't think Kate does. And Kate's also dead. 
that might be the thing that takes it. Alice has more to fight for. Yeah. She's going to fight tooth and nail for it. I, I don't think Kate has given up on life, but I don't think. I think she's kind Alice of like accepted was, where yeah. she's at now. Yeah, Alice has be- gotten beaten down so many times, and Kate, Kate really hasn't. No. Kate just keeps moving. And she, yes, she's running. I but think she's, she's running at- to hide from people. Alice is like running from her past and trying to get better, but it, her past just keeps catching up to her. Yeah, I feel like Kate is kind of at like a peace now. Yeah. Being on the island. I mean, the, we all reasons. saw the ending scene. <laughs> yeah, so like. I feel like she wouldn't be fighting as hard to, like, leave it, whereas I think Alice would. My gut is saying Alice. Just by that last little argument, I think Alice. I think Alice has more to fight for, but I do think this was, like, a two-week fight. Like, they went home to separate houses, had security, they went to sleep, they woke up, they had some power breakfast, and they went back at it. I think Alice, running from her past fighting for her kids, fighting for Polly. Mm-hmm. And the fact that she was a serpent, I think that sells me. Kay has skated by by saying she's a fugitive, but I don't think she's been against anybody where there was anything super tough. I think we've said our arguments. And I think just our This is like the right most now. sad like decision ever. We're just like, guess it's Alice. <laughs> yeah. Cause it's just so difficult and like my brain is starting to hurt from trying to think of like a definite answer. Which I think just I just I just think at the end of the day, who am I seeing coming out wearing the championship belt? And I feel like it's Alice. I can see Kate going in thinking she's coming out a champion, but I just can't right now see her coming out a champion. I think Alice, here's what I'm going to say. I think Alice would catch her in a moment of weakness, take that chance, pin her, and then that would just be it. Like, I think she would catch her in a moment of weakness or vulnerability, take that little window, and then that would just kind of win it. I was going to say, catch her staring at Sawyer, but I mean, if FP shows up to the fight, same thing can happen. Oh, FP would cheer her on. True. I think Alice has more to fight for. Yeah, that's my only argument because there's so much more similar. They're too similar yeah. that I think just Alice wouldn't give up the fight. I think Kate would just at some point just be like, fine, like you win. Wow. So it's determined I should write it down. I don't see another outcome. I mean, you guys are more than welcome. <laughs> yeah, no, I want to do this again at some point for sure. But yeah. this These makes ones, it look like we cheated. I really get it. I had I'm really no thinking of every Alice. other, every possibility to put these two together. But I just, it's it's really going for what they're fighting for. And I just, I think. And Alice taking has. out all those extra factors, I think that's what it has to come down yeah. to. That was, that was a long argument. <laughs> Yo, Alice Smith just won. <laughs> Alice Smith is our Enter the Fan Girls Ultimate, Ultimate Fighting, Fighting Champion. Champion. Do, 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 do. The confetti falls down. We bring out the belt. Diaper I put her wings. on here because we just really like the character. Did yeah. not expect her to make it that far. No. like we. I there think was like one fight I thought she was going to lose. I thought she was going to lose to Nana. That's what I thought could have yeah. taken her down. I mean, if we had Locke over Robin, she would have had It would be a different fight. story. Yeah. I think Locke would have obviously won, but wow. That was I'm, like, kind of flabbergasted. So am I. I'm, like, looking at all the characters. I'm, like, how did we get here? I was really rooting for Dale and Brennan. Wow. <laughs> I thought 11 would make it farther, but, I mean, 11 and Locke... I was kind of hoping Karen McCluskey would have made it farther, but like I said, I just, Alice just really pulled through for that one. I don't think Alice has inhibitions much when it comes to, like, okay, fight for this now, I think. Yeah. 
I think if Betty was there too, she'd kind of like look at him and be like, okay, hey, you can't let your daughter see you lose this fight kind of thing. True. So I yeah. think that would kind of be a lot of motivation for her. Still surprised. Yeah. But I really wanted to see an, an Allison Brie fight. I'm kind of mad we didn't get that matchup. Congratulations, though. No, she did good. Smith. Al Susanna Smith. Miss ASS. Al. <laughs> Kicking ASS. Yeah, for real. I hope Machen is so happy right now. <laughs> no. I can't wait to tell her that she'd want to fight. I want to, like, tweet this at her and be like... Oh, we will. Miss Machen, you are our most favoritist badass character. Yeah. Oh, my God. If we do the badass women in TV, oh my God. could she be a two-time Enter the Fangirls Ultimate Fighting Champion? Oh, but honestly, please, I hope you guys were playing along. Who did you guys think were going to win, and who did you guys have winning? Yeah. Like, in your own little bracket. Also, who do you think won, who do you think would have won that last round? Yeah. Kate or Alice? Um, for next yeah. week's episode, we hope to have a little, another fun game, which mm-hmm. is a li- not as tiring and as plain no. <laughs> fun it's as It's a very there. chill one. Yeah, which I think will be fun if we plan it decently. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this episode of Enter the Fangirls. You can keep up with us on social media. Our YouTube and Instagram are Enter the Fangirls, and our Twitter is Enter Fangirls. Make sure you listen to your podcast and we cannot wait for you to join us in our next episode once again i'm lexi i'm sam and this has been into the fangirls